I'm sat here with Thomas Engo of Writer Engineering, who did an awesome stint in the qualifying race in the first round of the FIA GT1 World Championship in Nagaro. So we've got him to join us in the edit suite to just talk us through the lap, uh, or a couple of laps, and tell us what was going through your mind, Thomas. So. Can I press play? Definitely. Are you yeah. ready to go? I mean, are you proud of the moment? <laughs> I'm, I'm proud, but I'm proud of the car as well. Yeah. You know, once you have a car which uh, is capable of going so fast mm. in any conditions, these were the wet conditions, um, I was, it was easy. It, mm. I said, the car is driving me, I'm not driving the car. The car was so good, so perfect. And then you can see my overtaking moments, uh, really, they, are, they were really easy. So well, you're certainly ahead. taking to the Lamborghini here anyway, and I'm sure you're giving Albert some nice tips joining the World Championship. Well, definitely Albert is a newcomer to the championship, but he's, uh, he has uh, quite good experience with these cars. Uh, he's obviously ADAC GT uh, Masters Champion uh, from 2010 from Germany. Uh, he's won two uh, FI GT3 races last year, so um, he's got a lot of experience with this car, uh, and I'm pretty sure he can be. We can step up on the podium uh, pretty soon, uh, or on the top of the podium pretty soon in FI GT1 World Championship. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to press play. You can guide us through it. Go ahead. So we are at the start of the of the qualifying race. Uh, I'm uh, currently standing in po seventh position. It is uh, on the left side. Uh, there are two Mercedes in front of me, and uh, straight away going into the first corner, I saw that uh, you know I had the speed to go on the inside. I was also lucky. There was no accident uh, or anything. There you can see me overtaking uh, Mercedes and Ferrari. So I was already in uh, P5, uh, P6, I believe. And then I'm going here outside trying to overtake uh, the second Mercedes, getting into P4. Here we have two first gear corners. Um, I was a bit worried that the Mercedes is going to get me outside here as well, but I knew the acceleration of the Lamborghini and the grip I had from the tires uh, before this long straight uh, is, uh, is perfect. So I was now in the slipstream behind uh, one of the Audis, number 33, and um, I was trying to get, uh, get uh, in front of him, but he was closing on the inside, so I have to go on the outside, uh, try to... Tell us what you're feeling here, Thomas. Are you feeling aggression? Is it pure aggression? Well, for those corners it was and pure to... aggression but really easy aggression I would say you know the car was wasn't going sideways or anything you know I haven't haven't put a foot wrong I haven't made a mistake and you can see me in front front of the screen trying to attack the the first uh, of the Audis uh, or second of the Audis from uh, this perspective so trying to get into second position very proud moment though no, obviously the condition might be similar here in Zolder so putting a performance in like that the whole team as you can see hands right everybody's very proud of you including Albert so confident that you can maybe pull off that performance here as well yeah well we are at the end of first lap uh, on the picture and uh, I'm already attacking uh, the Audi and as you can see going into turn one uh, I had really good, great exit out of the last turn and <laughs> this is my teammate Albert <laughs> and uh, obviously I would break him going into into first turn and uh, I knew I had the speed to catch up the, the Ferrari. Uh, the question was where I can overtake him because the Ferrari has a slightly better top speed than, uh, than the Lamborghini. But uh, as you can see through these two last corners, uh, sorry, these two first gear corners, I was uh, really close and I was concentrating on the exit of this uh, long straight. And um, as you can see, I was really close here, but uh, he pulled away slightly. Uh, through the through the long straight, I tried to go on the inside, try to make him nervous, and I knew he's going to stay on the inside. So I start to break outside, and then I was preparing for the next uh, next couple of corners. Here you can see what's happening behind me. It's so interesting you say you're trying to make the Ferrari feel nervous. Exactly. It's it's all the me it's a mental game, isn't it? It's psychology a game as well. Because as this was Philip Salaquarda driving yeah. in that car, and here I'm. I had really good exit after that corner, and I I had just attacked uh, as much as I could. Uh, Philip is obviously my countryman, and uh, I was really proud that I could I could uh, overtake him in this style in this way. Uh, obviously, I knew that my car at that point was far better than the other other competitors. 
practice, but uh, I used that uh, to the maximum, and uh, I was proud that I could uh, I could put the Lamborghini at the end of second lap uh, onto the P1 from P7 on, uh, at the start of the race. Awesome. Well, it was certainly fantastic to watch. I hope it was just as great for you to drive it as it was for us to watch it, Thomas. It, it was fantastic, and I'm hoping we can repeat that today. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you.